And uh, suddenly it's just that feeling of you can do no wrong and you know what's going to happen before it happens and it's all happening right, you know? <laughs> and you just, uh, you just sit there and say, please don't screw this up and get in the way, you know? Because the thing about music is, um, and Sonny Rollins says this and he's very right, you can't think when you're playing music, you know? If you start thinking, it's going to go away. It's got to be this free flow that goes through you that, that you just let it ha come out. That's another thing that I heard McCoy Tyner said, um, that he doesn't try and play less or play more. He doesn't worry about, oh, I have to be this way or that way. Just let it out. Whatever it is, for better or for worse, just let it out, you know, and, uh, and hope that it's at that level. And that's when you're going to get to that level, you know, when you can get out of the way which is, takes years and years to do that, you know, um, to get your, your, your brain to stop getting in the way, even though your brain has to have all this info, especially to play jazz. I mean, people don't realize the difference between playing classical music and playing jazz music is that in classical music, you play what the composer wrote and you work on interpreting those notes. But I taught at Juilliard and I taught a jazz course for classical pianists, actually a, a graduate classical pianist, and I realized that they didn't know, a lot of them, maybe some of them did, but a lot of them did not know the theory behind that music. In jazz music, you are a theory master. You have to be. You have to have all of this knowledge of theory. It's what takes so much time to get, not only all of the expertise as a virtuoso musician, but you have to learn all this theory and it has to just come together and be glued in there and then come out as if you're playing something very simple. If, if the theory shows, it's not that enjoyable. But if it doesn't show, then it's beautiful music. You know, this was, this was the beauty of, of Charlie Parker. To me, was that here was the most advanced, you know, one of the highest level, greatest geniuses of all time. But his music appealed to the guy who worked all day in the factory and didn't even like jazz because it just made him feel good when he heard Charlie Parker. That's what you want to get to. You want to get beyond all the intellect and the theory, and you want to put something out in people that they feel makes them feel good.